Hey, what's up? Uh, you know, I've just been getting a bunch of, um, of inbound questions around one particular subject that I wanted to address real quick, uh, and that is about personal style. You know, I've made lots of videos around personal style. I've made videos about um, you know, how to stand out in a really crowded field, whether you're trying to build a business or you're a creator trying to stand out in your crowded industry. And I had this aha moment that I've got this amazing video of Gregory Heisler, uh, who's this amazing photographer giving a talk at the Creative Life Studios in Seattle. And I wanted to share that with you right now. And just a little preview. Um, so Heisler is this amazing photography shot more than 70 Time Magazine covers, Vanity Fair, Esquire, you name it, total legend. You know his work absolutely 100%. There's no question you've never seen his work. Um, and But this clip has nothing to do with specifically with photography and has everything to do with how to stand out in a crowded field, how to define your personal style and identify with what's in here, whether you're building business or anything. So. I want to share that with you right now. I think it's incredible. Uh, so focus a couple minutes of your attention on this. And also, I'll link to the whole talk um, down in the description, as well as I think this entire talk is so important, I'm putting on the podcast there too. So if you want to listen to the whole thing, you can check it out there as well. But for now, let's get out of the way and go check this out from a man, Gregory Heisler. A friend of mine said, oh, there's a photographer. He's one of the old life photographers. He's a really good soul. You just show him your work, see what he says, right? So his name's John Lowengard, and he ended up being, he's one of the great life photographers from the old magazine. And he ended up being the picture editor of Life Magazine when it came back to life. And so I phoned him up, and you can do that, and went to his office in the Time and Life. Just walking into the Time and Life building was like, oh my God, it's the Time and Life building. You know, it's like, it's kind of, for me, sacred ground. So I went to the Time Life Building and saw him, and I showed him my portfolio, which wasn't like great, right? I mean, it, it was the best I had. I thought it was okay, but it wasn't. I don't think he would have looked at it and say, "That guy's got talent." It's like it was, you know, it's a beginner's portfolio. But I showed him my stuff, and I kind of he flipped through it, kind of very respectfully and nicely, and I asked him, like, you know, what, what do you think? You know, because at that point. There was a thing out called, it was, a, it was called the Black Book, the Creative Black Book. It was like a source book for photographers, how you'd identify other for the people in advertising agencies or magazines could flip through and look at commercial photographer's work. And I said, like, should I do work that I see, like I see there? Should I do stuff like I see in a magazine? And really my main question was, which I didn't realize, like, sort of, who should I be like? Kind of really what it was, you know? Who, who do you think I should be like? What should I do? And he was a really thoughtful guy and he was quiet for a minute. He said, well, he said, uh, what I think you should really do is you should uh, shoot what you can't help but shoot. And I was like, say what? He said, yeah, shoot what you can't help but shoot. And I wish I'd listened to this more honestly and paid more heed to it at the time. And he said, yeah, because if you shoot what you can't help but shoot, it'll be easy because you can't help but shoot it anyway, right? And since you can't help but shoot it, it'll be your own, it'll be the best work you do because it's what comes naturally to you, right? And uh, what's great is because it's your best work, people will respond to it. And what they'll hire you to do is they'll ask you to shoot more of what you can't help but shoot. And since you can't help but shoot it anyway, you won't have to, you won't second guess them. It'll come really easily to you and you'll do more of that, right? And that kind of cycle will repeat itself. Will they hire you to do more of what you can't help but shoot? And since you couldn't help but shoot it, it was really good. And more people saw that and they hired you to do it again. And he said, what happens is you will look back in hindsight and find out who you've been, right? You'll actually notice that you will have developed a style. Like that's the big, everybody wants to know like, what's your style, what's my style? Everybody wants to develop a style. And his thing was, you don't actually, you don't aim to a style. It's something you see in hindsight, that you seem to have had a style, you seem to have developed a style, right? You can't sort of aim at it. 